There are a vast number of options to choose from when considering a two-in-one laptop for your creative needs. Some are cheap and others not so much. So why would you pay over $800 for a two-in-one laptop versus picking up a cheaper model? Well, in this video, I'm going to put head-to-head -head two different two-in-one laptops at two different price points to talk about which one is right for you. Let's get rocking. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser, and this is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. In this head-to-head -head battle, the over $800 laptop is the Acer Spin 5, and our sub $800 laptop is the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. If you're curious about the exact pricing of each of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, and that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. First and foremost, let's talk about some of the differences in performance, and then later we will discuss the differences in the practical application and build quality. The Acer Spin 5 comes with the 10th Gen Core i7-1065G7 at 4 cores and 8 threads, with the Intel Iris Plus Graphics G7, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of solid state hard drive. Whereas the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 comes with the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U at 6 cores and 6 threads, AMD's Radeon 6 graphics, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM that is soldered to the motherboard so you cannot upgrade this laptop, and it has 256 gigs of SATA SSD. In Photoshop, you can see that the more affordable Flex 5 is actually slightly outperforming the Acer Spin 5 by about 23 points on the Photoshop benchmark tests. However, if you're interested in video editing, the Acer Spin is going to perform better while previewing footage in the timeline and exporting. While editing 4K footage on a 9-minute project at 4th quality, the Acer Spin only dropped 16 frames, whereas the Lenovo Flex 5 dropped 4,392 frames. This makes the Acer Spin the go-to laptop for smooth video editing. You are capable to edit that 4K footage in the Lenovo Flex 5 at 4th quality, but with the amount of drop frames, it is a very stuttery, pretty annoying experience. So I would definitely recommend you go towards the Acer Spin 5. And concerning export times, I'm going to take a 9-minute 4K clip and export it out of Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve to 4K and 1080p YouTube settings. The Acer Spin 5 is able to do this export out of Premiere Pro at 7 minutes and 13 seconds, and the Lenovo is able to do the 4K to 4K export at 8 minutes and 23 seconds. Now, take that export and export it out to 1080p. The Acer Spin 5 is able to do this in 2 minutes and 51 seconds, and the Lenovo Flex 5 is able to do this export in 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Out of DaVinci Resolve, the Acer Spin 5 is slightly slower than the Lenovo Flex 5, getting that export out from 4K to 4K in 21 minutes and 58 seconds, whereas the Lenovo Flex 5 is able to do that export in 17 minutes and 34 seconds. Now, the 4K to 1080p export out of DaVinci Resolve for the Acer is 10 minutes and 58 seconds, whereas the Lenovo Flex 5 is able to do it in 7 minutes and 40 seconds. So if you're looking to export out of DaVinci Resolve, then the AMD Flex 5 might be the way to go. So if you're looking for a Premiere Pro laptop, I would recommend choosing the Acer Spin 5 with the Intel i7, but for the DaVinci Resolve, I would choose the Flex 5 with the AMD, as it has slightly faster considering the export times. But how do these laptops handle the thermals, noise, and component usage in each of these tests? The Acer Spin 5 at idle has no fan noise, and during some Photoshop benchmarks, it got up to around 44 decibels. During the Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export, it was at 44 decibels as well, and during DaVinci Resolve, it only peaked up to an extra decibel and landed at 45 decibels. The Lenovo Flex 5, again, had no fan noise at idle, was at 44 decibels at the Photoshop benchmark, 43 decibels during the 4K export out of Premiere Pro, and 43 decibels out of the DaVinci Resolve 4K export. Now for the thermal test. Now for the component usage.
Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep moving forward. <laughs> Punch for punch, these two laptops are close while conducting a variety of creative professional tasks, as you've seen in these extremely detailed benchmarking tests. They can both handle video editing, Photoshop, as well as multitasking in Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator at the same time. So why pick the more expensive laptop if both screens are compatible with a pen and providing a comfortable drawing tablet experience? Why make the upgrade? Let's dig a little deeper and discuss the build and functionality of these two laptops. The Lenovo Flex 5 comes with an all-plastic build featuring a soft-touch material on the keyboard deck. I like this material a lot. It is very similar to my Dell XPS 15, which I've used for over three years. On the other hand, the Acer Spin 5 totes an all-aluminum chassis, which is even more durable and lighter than the Flex 5. The Acer Spin 5 weighs in at 2.65 pounds and a thickness of 0.59 inches, whereas the Lenovo Flex 5 weighs in at 3.3 pounds, nearly a whole pound heavier, and has a thickness of 0.82 inches. The first point for why you might want to consider buying a more expensive laptop would be better, lighter, and stronger. That is what the Spin 5 provides you. What about the on-the-go capability of these two laptops? Well, the Acer Spin 5 comes with a 56 watt hour battery, netting you roughly seven hours and 15 minutes of web browsing battery life, and maybe five to six hours of design or video editing life. Now, that is how much you're using the laptop if you're using it for very intense tasks or more moderate tasks. The Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 comes with a 52 watt hour battery, looking at around six hours of web browsing battery life and around four hours and 15 minutes of design or video editing life. Now, the reason we're seeing some slightly better battery life out of the Acer Spin 5 is something called the Athena Project. And if you want more details on that, I'll link an article in the description below so you can dig deep into the battery saving capabilities of that project. Now, next, let's open the lid of this laptop and consider the keyboard deck and trackpad. Both keyboards have nearly identical layouts and a quality key press, soft and snappy, personally just the way I like it. So not much difference there. However, when considering the trackpad, although they both come with Windows Precision drivers, you'll find that the Acer Spin 5's trackpad sounds more secure and is slightly quieter when clicked. I cannot guarantee that this means it will last longer, but the feel under my fingers is definitely of a higher quality. Now to discuss the most important aspect of a two-in-one laptop, the screen. Both screens open and pivot on very similar hinge configurations. They are both smooth and sturdy, so no winner here. However, things take a shift when you encounter the brightness and vibrant screen of the Acer Spin 5. The Acer Spin 5 is nearly twice as bright as the Flex 5 at 425 nits compared to the Lenovo Flex 5's 210 nits at full screen brightness. And you can easily and visibly see the brighter difference. Concerning the color accuracy, this Spin 5 wins again, attaining a color gamut range of 100% sRGB, 79% Adobe RGB, and 80% DCI-P3 versus the Lenovo Flex 5 with a range of 64% sRGB and 48% Adobe RGB with 48% DCI-P3. So that extra bit of cash will get you a higher quality screen that is brighter and vastly more color accurate. Now, when it comes to the dimensions, that's merely preferential. I've never owned a three x two aspect ratio screen found on the Spin 5. I'm more familiar with the Flex 5's 16 by nine aspect ratio. But after using the Acer Spin 5 over the past week and a half, I must say I could see myself making this laptop my on the go workstation as it makes great editing and timeline Review really nice while video editing. Now onto the most important part of the screen, the touch sensitivity and accuracy of the screen and pen combination. Concerning the Lenovo screen, you can opt to get a pen with either 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity using the Active Pen 1 or 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity using the Active Pen 2. And I will link both of those in the description below if you're curious about which one you want to pick up. And if you're wondering if the model you're about to purchase or considering purchasing comes with a pen, I personally do not know. You will have to reference the product description to confirm before you make your purchase if the laptop listing you're considering purchasing comes with a pen or you have to order it separately. So just definitely do your due diligence, search the product description, and see if it comes with the pen or if it does not. 
With those two pressure sensitivities, this allows the Lenovo to reach optimal levels of pressure sensitivity through the pen. However, Acer takes it a step further by providing the pen with a built-in charging dock on the right side of the keyboard deck. Not only that, but Acer has partnered with Wacom to have their Wacom field drivers pre-installed on the Acer Spin 5, giving you an extra level of precision and pen sensitivity. Now, do note that I tested installing the Wacom field drivers on the Flex 5, and it is compatible. So although the driver does not come pre-installed on the Flex 5, you can install them once you purchase the laptop. I will include a link to the driver download in the description below this video if you want to check that out. When it comes to purchasing a 2-in-1 laptop over $800, you may only find slightly better performance, but the attention to detail, screen quality, and material choices are all going to far surpass the sub $800 laptop model. If you're looking for a laptop with great benchmarks in Photoshop and the supporting Adobe design apps, great pen pressure sensitivity, quiet while conducting your tasks, all at under $800, then I would consider the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. But if you're looking for an all aluminum thin and light laptop with great performance for the Adobe design apps and video editing, with a bright and color accurate screen, built-in pen and charging dock, plus pre-installed Wacom field drivers, all at a medium tier price point, then I would consider the Acer Spin 5. If you're curious about the exact pricing of either of these models, or if you're ready to make a purchase, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. And if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you wanna learn more about the Acer Spin 5 or the Lenovo Flex 5, more in detail review, you can click or tap the screen. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.